Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. This is so damn hard. Online cheating, wife wanting to open a relationship, kids, stepkids, I don't know how to juggle it all. Need support. I'm a soon to be 43 year old male married to a 36 year old female. We've been married 7 years. Mount oldest 3 children are 16, 14, and 11, and though they are not mine biologically they have little contact with their biological dad, visit him for a month once a year and really don't interact with him otherwise the rest of the year, so I've been their father for the past 7 years. I also have two biological children, 6 and 3. So, this all started only a matter of weeks ago when my wife, after the children went to bed, told me that she wanted to open the marriage. Based on internet images that she saw I looked at that looked very different from her type, and the fact that we rarely had sex, once or twice every three months or so, she had come to the conclusion that maybe I would be okay with that, because then I could seek out someone who I sexually desired, and she could seek out someone who made her feel desired. She claimed it wasn't an emotional thing, just meeting up with someone she trusted every so often. Someone who wouldn't live near enough for it to be a regular thing to interfere with our day-to-day -day dynamic of family. This was all a huge shock to me, because I have always wanted her, and though we had sex rarely I have always felt a sexual connection with her that I had never had with anyone before. I actually would have loved to get it more, but always felt her out up a wall. On top of that, though the marriage would be open for me too, I knew that even with permission I'm not the kind of person who can do casual hookups, and so any woman I would likely feel comfortable with would unlikely be comfortable being with a married man. Even beyond that, I knew any time I spent pursuing someone, getting to know them, then actually dating and hooking up would be fine taken away from my family time, I'm also the sole breadwinner besides the child support for the older kids, so I am working more than 40 hours a week, and family doesn't just include the kids it also includes my wife who I have a deep connection with in almost every way. So I would end up feeling guilty about any energy put into that, so it is something I would never do. So this would end up being a one-sided open marriage. I had a feeling, so I asked, after silently taking all this in with tears, if there was someone specific she had in mind already. She said no, but likely someone she had met when she and her first husband opened their marriage. They lived hours away, so it wouldn't be someone near us. Anyway, the next day she came clean and said that she had been talking to someone from that time for the previous five months. He is polyamorous and was in a one-sided open relationship with his girlfriend who didn't want it but acquiesced. I know my wife, and taking for five months. I remembered or sexually charged online messages texts and phone calls. I assumed it was well beyond any longer I was comfortable with, and when I spoke of it this way she never contradicted. So, these are two separate issues obviously. Connected, but separate, and I was overwhelmed. I could only deal with one thing at a time, and my wife is my best friend, the love of my life, and sharing her with someone else is beyond anything I could handle, and it wasn't a nebulous thing, she had someone already. My first priority was letting her know that I couldn't have an open relationship. She then explained that she was struggling with whether she was polyamorous, and that it may be something she needed. Over days of processing and trying to keep in mind her needs as well as my own I came to the conclusion that I need exclusivity, and if she needed this other relationship that I couldn't remain and we would have to find a way to separate in a way that we could still raise the children amicably. She never considered separation because she loves me and we are super close in so much of ourselves, and she worried about the family dynamic and what would happen. Now I know I hadn't dealt with the infidelity at this point, but understand that I was overwhelmed and scared of losing the love of my life and my best friend and closest confidant, and possibly breaking up my family where I would have little to no contact with my three oldest. I was desperate and was ready to give her one freebie so that she could explore if that was really polyamory. I explained that it would be agony for me any time she stepped out with someone else and I would lose confidence in us. 
she never thought she'd lose me, so she sinus is over it all, and in the meantime we yo-yoed with depression, and emotionally charged sex. Lots of it. More than we had had since we first dated. I tried super hard to keep her. Showing her affection, emotionally begging her not to hurt me. And she deliberate the situation and it was agony. I knew that if I had to give up one of my desires for her out was no contest, she would easily win out, and the fact that I want an easy choice for her stung. This is finally when I realized that I had not dealt with the infidelity that already occurred and I finally realized that all my efforts were pathetic and that in that situation I had no power. I finally brought to the attention that yes, I wanted to be with her, but she had cheated on me. Polly or not, if she wanted to keep me the effort had to be hers. She needed to repair what she broke, and once we discussed that things changed and she made efforts to keep me. She eventually came to the conclusion that what could be wasn't worth risking what she actually had, so she chose me. And it again was great. With emotionally charged sex and all. Good days, with moments of insecurity, but not the underlying dread that I had been living through while she deliberated the gate of my entire world. Now the period of sex is over and there is always something in the way of being intimate again, and yet I'm now yearning for it more than ever. And she's feeling pressured, and so closing down more. And I'm tonight finally realizing that what the real problem is not that I'm not getting sex, though I desperately want it, but that I've been so lonely since the day she told me that she wanted to open the relationship, when I lost the idea that though we had our issues that we were in it together. And I'm realizing that I'm still far more committed to this than she is and I am asking myself if the roles were reversed what I would be doing to keep our relationship, and I know I would be sacrificing everything, every part of me, if I had to. And that is not what I'm getting from her, and I'm laying awake now at midnight after only getting 3 hours of sleep the night before. I'm feeling so alone in this, and I am getting angry at her for not stepping up. And at the same time I'm so scared of losing her. This is so damn hard. Sorry this is so long. There were so many details I left out, but if you have questions let me know. If you don't want to lose everything, have you at least consulted a lawyer to see how a divorce will look for you? You do know that eventually your wife is going to explore her polyamorous side anyway. She already has a partner in mind that she has explored this kind of relationship with before, so it's only a matter of time before she tests the waters again. Do you know the reasons why her first marriage failed? I have considered this. Honestly, I don't think she's polyamorous, but I am prepared to deal with that again if it comes up again. I do believe she loves me, and I do believe that there are specific reasons that she seeks this situation. She is trying to escape from everyday life. There are lots of reasons that we weren't intimate, but a lot of it is that she needs a separation to feel sexy. I think counseling is what I would like to try before a lawyer. Counseling is a good idea. I suggested a lawyer because you should at least know where you stand in the event things break down. Consulting a lawyer doesn't mean you are going to go through with a divorce. Best of luck. This. Consult a lawyer no matter what. Find one you like and pay the retainer. Discuss how things will look for separation and or divorce. Once you pay that retainer, that makes them your lawyer and you can at any moment tell them to draw up papers and have them served. Or not. But now you know. She's at least had an EA. She wants to turn it physical, assuming she already hasn't. Lots of cheaters use open marriage to bring the affair they are already having into the light. Be prepared. A lawyer can help you set up the process to disentangle from your wife as fast as possible. Believe me, once divorce begins you need to have your finances squared away and separate before they can be drained. Sorry, brother. Look there is a lot of things with sex and love that just are, whether you are attracted to men or women you do t really choose that, whether you have a high sex drive or low sex drive, that's not always a choice and is chemical in your brain. Polyamorous is a choice. Everyone can choose whether they are with one person or a hundred, it's not something they have to do. If everyone is okay with it then do it, but if she is saying she is poly it's because she chooses to be. 
I'm not sure I could choose to be Polly, but I get your point. She chose to be with me. She's not putting in the effort I need to be right again, though. Up, you slash Sampa to Nike is spot on, you both need ICA sap. On Tuesday make appointments for you both. After six months, I started MC. Give that a few months to shake out, then review that state of your marriage. In the meantime, consult with an attorney and see what a divorce would cost you. You're not on the hook for the older kids, but you are for the two younger, since your WW is a zam, you're going to take a big hit. Oh I didn't see the part about why her previous marriage failed. Yes, I know. They were young and she was hyper-religious. He was a marine and her ex-marine, religious dad and stepmom encouraged the whole thing. Through her marriage she reconverted, and some of the ideas of duty went with that. He was deployed and rarely home, and we think he is on the spectrum and really emotionally available. That's why they opened the marriage then. She and I are both atheists. Thanks for the reply. Would your wife be okay with you guys legally separating? Technically she wouldn't be cheating, but she would open herself up to the possibility of her losing you because you may find a relationship with someone who is more compatible as far as monogamy goes. That is what I discussed with her. She had chosen to try to work it out rather than pursuing Polly. It is something she claims she isn't sure of and wanted to explore. She decided that exploration was worth losing me. I understand that it could come up again, and we can address it then, in the meantime she wants to try to make us work. I just don't think she even knows what level of effort I need from her. I try to explain, but I think she's caught up on the idea that I'm pressuring for sex when she doesn't feel I'm the mood, and so pulls back further. Honestly, I don't think she's Polly, I think she crabs the excitement that emotional sexual encounters can provide. I understand. Hopefully you'll work it out. Please don't fall for the sunk cost fallacy if the wife doesn't seem to understand or is not willing to put in the work to make things work. Best of luck. Thank you. That's pretty much my anger tonight. I'm realizing she is not giving everything she needs to. I'm not sure she understands that, though. It's something we will be talking about when I'm less tired and angry. Of course she will stick with you. You are paying the bills. She thought she could get away with ducking someone else while you still paid the bills. Do not be abused by this creature. If she is your best friend, I would hate to see how your enemies treat you. She wants you home when things fizzle out with her AP. Marriage is over dude. It was your turn, now it's someone else's. So have you wondered if she is just manipulating you? If so it shows. You repeat a lot of her deflective excuses. She is an adult who is solely responsible for her own decisions in life. It boils down to two main points. She isn't honest and she chooses not to be loyal at all. Get STD and DNA tests. Feelings aren't facts. They should be based on them instead of trying to dictate what the facts must be because of how you feel. Feelings can be misleading but if done as described quite rarely, if not then mostly so and incredibly much so. Hell. Cut off her direct access to your money entirely. Perhaps a family meeting where you sit the whole group down and announce that you two have talked to spouses, and either she quits cheating on me or we all have to leave our home into different ones, you three older three, will no longer get to see me, you two, possibly yours genetically, will always be loved by me but we wouldn't get to see each other often as we do know. Ask them older three, how bad that is. So tell her then that you deserve a woman who loves, values and respects you and one way or another you will have this. Either she gets therapy to learn to accept her own fault and responsibility for her own actions and to learn to grow as a person into a better person or you replace her with someone who doesn't need therapy. Remind her she is a exio with 5 kids amd she knows from her last app dumping her she likely told a lie about who broke it off not just the why it ended, if it actually did, it's hard to find a guy willing to do more than use her for sex and she will likely never again have a chance to have one who treats her as well as you do. On the other hand a loving caring, physically, emotionally and financially supportive guy who is great with kids, loves being a parent even if they're not his DNA, or that he adopted, couldn't be more in demand. 
Look up a how to leave an emotional abuser and something about narcissists and empaths. Show her you have been reading some internet articles also. So also tell her that until she shows you a current STD checkup, papers she doesn't get to share your bed with, she gets the sofa. Her choice to cheat so hey. She won't be able to keep it up then. I'm not talking about losing my physical stuff. My concern is losing the life I have. Your life, that you thought you had, you already lost it a lot, sorry, but it's the truth, I'll tell you, do two things, so you can check it. 1 P N of R in his car, and go for gold A N of ID in the last time. 2 Check his phone account, and what are the messages and most frequent numbers from him. She doesn't love you and does not care about her family, she already destroyed her first marriage, this is the second, a woman with five children, and if he loved her, she would only think of pretty girls and having a secure home for them, in a stable family and full of love, mental and physical security for her five children. IT will end up at home with LS five children, while she, CM in the first marriage, ducks LS guys that cross her. I understand that. I wasn't referring to stuff. I was also thinking about your life, kids, custody etc. You already see a lot of things right, your relationship is far more important for you than for her. You would go above and beyond to save it while she fuels her desire for another man. She already stepped out, already made a decision to be with another man for at least 5 months, probably longer. You two are different and don't want the same. She was hiding everything she did from you, lied to you, didn't care how that all might affect you or your family. That is her mindset. You can't win this fight alone and yes, she does fight but not for the same goal. She fights for her own goal. If I were in your shoes I would only ask myself what she is hiding right now. Especially since you have never mentioned that she broke up with her lover or cut him out of her life. She is probably still in contact with him, writing to him and complaining that you keep her from doing what she wants. From now on your life will be hell whenever she goes out alone and it will be unbearable if she should be somewhere else for two days or longer. Because you will always ask yourself if she is really there or lied to you to meet with her lover. Her love for you is different from the love you have for her and you both have different desires. That will very probably lead to you getting hurt. The question is just when. I don't think your wife has the slightest clue what Polly is to be honest, according to your post when she suggested an open relationship she said it wasn't emotional and just a casual hook up from time to time, that's not Polly and I think you should both look up what being Polly actually is. The definition of Polly is basically the ability to love two or more people at the same time. This means that she would be in a committed emotional and sexual relationship with you and another person at the same time. In short you and another man would share one woman equally, of course this is only possible with three consenting people who all have the same mentality and are comfortable with it. What your wife is suggesting is casual sex with other people, that's not being polyamorous. From what you said it sounds quite simple to me. A. She wants your blessing to have sex with this man from her past without the guilt and is using the poly excuse as a way to get it. Or B, she already has an emotional connection with this man that she has already been with in her previous marriage, which would beg the question was he ever really out the picture? Why after all this time would she reconnect with this particular individual and suddenly upend your relationship for someone she has not seen or spoken to in so long? It just all sounds too convenient to me. What does he have or do for her that her focus is solely on him and no one else? These to me are the questions you should in reality be asking. She had a connection with him in the past. Has probably been having an emotional affair with him for the last 5 months, probably much much longer, and now wants your blessing to make it physical like it once was. Sounds like he has always and will always be a part of her life. Don't fool yourself into thinking this is something new. Chances are it's been going on since before you met her and she is trying to slowly make it normal and bring it into the light cause who knows maybe the guilt of leading this double life is finally getting to her. The lack of sex in your marriage at such an early stage doesn't come from nowhere, trust me, we all know this. 
Bro think she's having teenage kids but wanted sex adventure. And cheating on you for 5 months. It's best to tell her you want a divorce and your stepchildren understand mom is the real cause of divorce. She's hidden for 5 months. In future she's definitely physically cheating on you. Get legal support. Don't waste your time. Don't believe her words. I trust her actions. That is what I'm most observing. While I don't think she is giving near the effort she needs to, from what I've seen she's been honest and completely open since she admitted the emotional affair. If you trust her actions then why you make this post there is nothing to worry about you got it all figured, good luck cop. I'm a bit emotionally exhausted right now. I think if you read more through the thread you could figure out what I was looking for. Maybe I just needed to be heard and supported, because the one who usually does that is the cause. I'm sure everyone here will try to help you in this way maybe you don't like some of this ways but they all want to help you. Brother here you have support. But do not ask us to lie to you, and let's just tell you what you want to listen to, here you will be told the truth, and we will try to make you see the truth, what is happening, since what you believe about your marriage, or believed, it is not, your wife, is a liar, manipulative, and cheater, always. And give TNA to your children. I have no doubt about my children. They have many of my traits, besides, my career at the time allowed me to be home nearly all day and my wife has no tires at all where we live. She moved here to be with me. Anyways bro watch her actions. If you access her phone or laptop, install software, and GPS, then wait. She really comes out from the fog or acting like a good wife. Technology easily caught cheaters. Then decide, bro. Install technology that gives the answers to all your doubts. Some of her issues stem from being stuck at home all the time. We have one working vehicle that I take to work. I have no need for all the spot stuff. She is open and will hand me the phone if I ask. My problem is I feel bad asking. I would rather ask her outright. Boldly one time ask her to phone. That's her best medicine for her adventurous feelings. It's tough to asking but all medicines taste not like honey. Sometimes this type of medicine takes a weak person's life. She's realized why you asking phone, why you are not believe her, why the trust gone, then realized all bad action happens her selfish decision. If she really loves you and does not want to lose you. In the future definitely she's never make this type of mistake. She gives the phone to me if I ask. She's caught me looking without asking. All the previous did is deleted, but I think she would tell me if I wanted details, I don't. I don't think there is any current contract. What I'm most concerned with now is the amount of effort she's putting into our reconciliation. I don't. I don't think there is any current contract. Exactly that is where you need to be on guard. She was hiding her contact to the guy for 5 months already, if she wants to be in contact with him without you finding out, then that is a easy thing for her to do. She showed you what she is capable of, don't forget that easily. What has she done until now on her own to win your trust back or to show you that she only wants to be with you? Things she did without any suggestion from you or asking for it? Has she read books about how a marriage can survive infidelity? About how to win trust back? Has she suggested to go to counseling? What has she done until now on her own except for saying sorry? True. Thank you. In my anger I left the bed tonight. I went to work until I'm exhausted so I could get some sleep without my brain running wild. But yeah, you are right. She hasn't done anything unprompted. I'm not good at it, but I intend to back off a lot. I've been overwhelming her, but I'm trying to give her space in my displeasure to see how she acts. Sorry that you have to experience this. Do you think that she even feels that she did anything wrong or does she only say what you want to hear? Her not doing anything sounds a lot like she doesn't really think that she did anything wrong. I think she knows she screwed up. Despite all the poly talk once I called her on cheating she said nothing. She apologized, but I think because I am so supportive all the time she takes that for granted and doesn't realize the label of investment I put into our relationship every day. 
she can't understand that that dynamic needs to flip and the level of commitment that takes because that was always me before. It was just there for her. Is she still in contact with this guy? Have you read their messages? You need to read everything then you can see what she says about you. Who made the initial contact, her or him? How do you know she is not in love with him as you have not seen the messages? You are her financial support and father to her oldest kids. She does not want to lose that so that is why she has chosen you. She is emotionally and financially abusing you at the least. This will affect your health. You really need to get this sorted. I know she loves me. That's how I know that she is at the minimum deeply infatuated with this man because otherwise it would have been a simple decision. I don't want to know anything in more detail. If she really loves you she wouldn't hurt you like this. That's not love it's selfishness. Why don't you want to know anything in more detail? You should know that knowledge is power. Not wanting to know everything means you are afraid of the blinding white truth. If you are going to stay with her you cannot run from the truth and remain sane. My goal is not to gain power over her. If this is something we can't work out then we will move on. That's not easy, but I have no interest in forcing anything. She is free to make her own decisions, and I am free to make my own in response. She cheated on you dude for 5 months you think she's just going go stop it and not do it again sorry but she will cheat again she can't handle monogamous relationship so end it sorry. Thank you for your reply. There are lots of things that I just couldn't put into this already long post that lead me to trust her to say the least, be honest. I'm not saying her curiosity for Polly isn't something we won't have to deal with again, what I am saying is that while it was her choice, there are certainly circumstances that lead here that are not impossible to overcome. Brother, there are no circumstances that lead to her cheating that you can overcome. None. The cheating isn't your fault. You are not to blame. The cheating is 100% on your wife. My ex and I went on date nights every week. I brought her flowers often and did anything I could think of to show her I loved her. Sex was daily. Not once a week, not once in a blue moon. Daily. But in the end, she was just a ducking cheater. At least she didn't have the balls to say I think I may be Polly to try and excuse her skankery. You can do everything right and nothing wrong and they will still cheat. Do not ever let her suggest that her decision to step out, cheat and lie is somehow because of you. No. It is her own issues she needs to work through. My issues that I need to work through are my own and about coping. Not about cheating. That was never my issue. My problem here apart from the cheating is that first she lied about having someone in mind. Do you know if she cheated in the past? And also that she is still free to talk to this guy she doesn't want to ruin your life and relationship but she cheated she says being Polly isn't worth the relationship but it took her 5 months of cheating and you confronting her for it to come through it simple doesn't make sense I would get counseling. Counseling I think is our best chance. Don't get me wrong, there are things that I should hold her more accountable for. I know that. I'm not good at that. But there are other circumstances that make me believe that it is not quite as dire as most on here believe. That said, it doesn't mean that I'm not getting good advice, because I don't know. Be wary of marriage counseling. Many counselors view infidelity as just another marriage problem, i.e. something both partners are responsible for, and advocate rug sweeping. You should vet any counselor carefully on their views on infidelity, IC or MC. The wrong counselor could end up validating your wife's ideas of exploring polyamory. Thank you. I will keep that in mind, brother, I'm sorry this is happening to you. At least you realized that when one spouse comes up and suggests opening the marriage out of the blue, they already have someone else lined up or are already seeing them and want to bring their affair out of the dark. They also believe that their so isn't really going to do anything with someone else. To me that is far far worse than them merely cheating as they believe they have you so on the hook that they can rub your face in it and you won't do anything other than allow them to do it. They think that little of their partner. Brother, I'm glad you laid it out how it would really be to her. However, consult a lawyer, pay his retainer and sleep with one eye open. I'm so sorry.
We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 